Tommy, it is about time you threw me a party. Yeah. I have been waiting 20 years. Congratulations. <laughs> Whatever you did, congratulations. <laughs> Probably <laughs> wasn't much. <laughs> What's going on? All right. Well, we've getting a lot of letters, a lot of people asking about woodpeckers. Oh, and yeah. How annoying they are and how they're destroying their house. Woodpecker damage. Have you got yeah. is this what this is here? Is woodpecker yeah, this is damage? Woodpecker damage. I mean, look at that. Holy look at those holes. All right. You look at this major hole right here. Now, that's a hole that he's probably digging because he wants to nest inside the building. Something big enough that he can actually get into it. Right. I got gotcha. you. So okay. now, if you look at these holes and down here, they're also like beveled or cone shaped inside. Wider outside as they get narrower. Right. So that's usually a, a hole that they're going to drill or bang out because it's mating season. What? Yeah. Uh, they're looking for a mate from March to May. Oh, this is how they show off? And that's how they show off. They make the noises. But the problem, the people that in the house have to suffer through it for a couple of months. And it's very, very annoying. And obviously, they can really do some damage. OK. A shingle like this, you can see how the whole are splayed out. Conical, so that's more mating, that's sort of for effect. Right, but those holes, you're probably looking for ants, or maybe a bee mm. larva, or even termites. So nesting, mating, or trying to eat, either way, you are left with corner boards that are damaged, yep. shingles that are damaged. Right, I always tell people, whether you're doing a roof, or whether you have a house with siding, if you're buying the siding and you have a new, save some in case you have to replace it. Same species, same, same species, lot. everything will go. Remove all of it that you can in that area, check behind it to see if you have any insects, and then Put it back together just as if it was new work. Okay. Any chance we can repair any of this? Well, the old painter's trick is they would take a piece of flashing and they might wrap that corner and then paint the flashing. Oh. All right. I'd like to be there when Woody Woodpecker comes up yeah. and starts to happen again. <laughs> exactly. That. That'll teach them. Yeah. Uh, and then there's all kinds of wood fillers. You can use epoxies or you can use a wood patch where okay. you can fill some of the holes and then paint it. And then when you're all done and you finished a project, what do you do? Throw yourself a party? <laughs> What's going on with all this nonsense? Well, I mean, if they're coming back because they like that location for mating, oh. you don't want them to hang around your house. Is this deterrence? These are deterrents. And no they work kidding. pretty good. Yeah, all sure. kinds of things that you can hang up in the areas that get it. And the wind blows this and the shiny reflectiveness of it basically scares the birds and they won't come back. Does Sue know that you brought your guys disco ball in for the show? <laughs> <laughs> disco ball or something like that. The balloons have the shininess of it. It's going to bounce around. Right. Got it. You can also use Christmas tinsel or you can cut up some foil like this <laughs> and hang that. But you see, if that's blowing in the wind, they're not going to come by. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I want my house to look. Like this <laughs> well, or like that? But it look, I get it. it look, okay. I got to say, it looks pretty. It looks like you're having a party all the time. <laughs> and then how about Mr. Owl? These are the predators? that These they... are supposed to be the predators. But the trick to these are you can't just put it in one location. You have to always be moving it. Oh. Because the birds catch on and they'll land on it because it's a great perching area right there. Sounds like you've been uh, foiled uh, by a couple oh, of birds in your I've, day. I've seen them. I have to deal with seagulls on the boat. Same thing. Okay. See, another thing that works good is CDs. You can put CDs on a monofilament line. They blow in the wind. They tap against the house, but nothing like the That's a good point. woodpecker. I finally have a use for my old CDs. Yeah, I know. These have, don't have any good songs on them. All right. Good. Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Do you think the kids even know what a CD is? I don't think Compact so. Compact disc. A little frisbee. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.